Got those feels today. Free agency is starting, guys. It is officially the new year, and we are back to bring you again some more breaking news. The 49ers make a, a much-needed upgrade uh, on the offensive line, um, especially to fill positions. We just lost Brandon Fusco to uh, Atlanta as well um, in free agency. Um, but to bring you more news, man, we are here to bring you the news of signing Weston Richburg, uh, center pl plus plays guard. Um, Mike, what's going on, buddy? If you can get the thing off mute, I say try. My bad. My bad, man. Another another signing I'm excited about. And I can, you can tell by how I'm over here trying to get this phone off of mute, man. I'm excited about this one because the offensive line was clearly one of our biggest weaknesses last year, that and pass rush. And this team is going after exactly what the big needs are. Our biggest need from the start of this all was quarterback. We get Jimmy Garoppolo. Our second biggest need was probably corner. We go out and get Richard Sherman, the perfect fit for this system, if healthy. OK, the next biggest need was offensive line. Yeah, everyone says, oh, well, Jimmy got the quick release and he's got the pocket presence. But the offensive line was horrible just because he can doesn't mean he should have to get rid of the ball in a second and a half every time. So now we get a chance to get someone who's a little bit more physical, someone who's more athletic and can move around, whether that's from the center position or the guard position. It is a great signing, Weston. Richburg, man. I'm, I'm hoping to uh, see the contract details here and see what it's all about. I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah, man, me too. I, I'm definitely excited about this for, you know, um, for two reasons. One, it's either going to up Daniel Kilgore's play or they're going to compete against each other and one or the other is going to play the guard position. Um, Daniel Kilgore's contract's not a three. It could, it could essentially be a one-year deal. Um, so this is going to make him step up his game as well. But like you said, we upgraded this pass line, the pass, the, the line for Jimmy Garoppolo and he has to get rid of the ball quickly. But now we got a, we got Jarek McKinnon too, who can slip out and get that ball. So, um, I'm super high on this, on this standard, man. We, we addressed some major needs that we needed. Um, this lets us focus on dr in, in the draft on edge as well, unless we sign somebody else still, I mean, there's still time to sign other people. But we addressed our most needed positions, running back because Carlos Hyde left, offensive line because we need interior O-line help, and cornerback. So I am proud of what the team's doing. I'm having complete trust and faith in John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan on what they're doing. And uh, this move just makes me super excited, man. Yeah, you know, there are a couple of concerns, or at least with me. Uh, one was that the Giants had a pretty bad offensive line last year. And as much as I beat up the 49ers for bringing back Gary Gilliam, uh, knowing that he came from Seattle and Seattle chose to let him leave, my logic with that was how can you pick up a guy who arguably one of the worst offensive lines in the league doesn't want? Well, we kind of did the same thing. So last year uh, there was a concussion for Weston, and I think it was around week four. And he didn't return for the rest of the season. He remained on IR. Now, there's some conflicting reports that are out there that are saying that he was healthy enough to come back, but the team liked his replacement, so they let him stay on IR. Um, but the point is, if he was that good, they would have brought him back up. So I'm excited and anxious, probably more anxious than I am excited to see how he actually plays and what he does. Um, if you look at his PFF rankings, I mean, you'll see that certain grades are down in the 50s and there's some in the 70s. One that peaks up at like 83. So he's all over the board. Um, obviously, the team thinks that they're going to get the best out of him. Um, and it helps that he's got a better quarterback. And I'm going to go ahead and say it than Eli Manning back there. Um, so it's definitely going to help. He has someone who's a better decision maker and a, a quicker processor with the ball. Um, but we're not going to be stuck waiting for certain plays to develop if they're not there. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to take what's there and it's going to make Weston Richburg look that much better. So hopefully he's fully recovered from this deal, uh, from his injury. And uh, the deal is going to reflect that, I'm sure. Uh, he's got to make the healthy 53-man and 43-man rosters and all that. Um, but we'll get those details when they emerge. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. I think it's it's a step in the right direction. Uh, not really sure on the contract details, not really sure how it's going to pan out, but I have faith in John and Kyle that he's going to fit this system. So, um, guys, make sure you follow us everywhere. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there on the right-hand corner. Hit that bell notification so you get your notifications. Know when we go live or when we post a new video. Check out our website, nothingbutniners.com. The guys, Zach and Scott, just released an article on the new additions. Go check that article out over there. Follow us on Twitter and Snapchat, nothing but nine ERS, Instagram, nothing but Niners, Facebook, nothing but Niners. And uh, man, that's pretty much it. Mike, you got anything else, bud?
I'm excited, man. The new football season is underway, and there's so much more to come. You guys got to stay tuned. I'm excited to do these breaking news reports because it means that something positive is happening. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. My reception's not too bad. But, I mean, that's it for me. I'll see you guys soon, I'm sure. All right, faithful man. As Mike used to say, faithful, unite. <laughs>